What's up you lot, it's Adam from Got Culture here today with a very exciting Game of Thrones theory. Or rather, that the most recent episode might have finally ended a theory. Now, ever since Danny's vision in the House of the Undying in which she was told the dragon would have three heads, fans have speculated that that meant we would get to see all three of her children being ridden. The revelation that Jon was also a Targaryen compounded this theory and so fans have wildly speculated since that that meant we would discover that Tyrion also had a bit of Targ in him. After all, his interaction with Rhaegal and Viserion under the Pyramid in Meereen really did mirror Jon's interaction with Drogon, with the assumption being the dragons recognised kinship. With that in mind, we pretty much all wanted to see Danny, Jon and Tyrion riding the dragons into battle as the three heads. Except now we can't because we've lost a dragon. With the death of Viserion and beyond the wall, the prophecy has now changed dramatically and it's near impossible that we'll ever see Tyrion ride a dragon at all. It might still be the case that Tyrion is confirmed as a Targaryen, I mean how the hell else do you explain the fact he didn't get eaten by the dragons, but he's basically lost his mighty steed before he's ever even had a chance to mount it. Interestingly though, the prophecy doesn't mean we won't see another Targaryen family link revealed because if the Three Heads prophecy does mean there's going to be three Targaryen riders, then you now have to assume that the Night King shares a bloodline with Jon and Danny. It's now inevitable that he's going to ride a dragon at some point. I mean, why else would you allow him to bring Viserion back from the dead unless you were going to have him ride him at some point? And that would be more or less all the confirmation we need. But what do you think? Is that the end of Tyrion as a Targaryen? Is that the end of him as a dragon rider entirely? What about the Night King? Is he going to be related to Danny or John, or is his origin something completely different entirely? Let us know your theories, no matter how outlandish, in the comments below. And as ever, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll be back across the week with more Game of Thrones coverage, and you can follow us at WhatCultureGOT for all the latest updates. Until then, I have been Adam from WhatCulture, and I will see you soon.